So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom and this is our old friend Pandemonium driving the tier 6 British tank destroyer, the Achilles. Basically the Achilles is kind of a it's kind of a molding of the tier 5 uh, American um, Wolverine and the tier 6 Jackson. So it's sort of got a rapid firing uh, gun open turret as you can see pretty mobile mobile uh, for a TD um, it's sort of an acquired taste I think it doesn't have much gun depression that's the thing that always catches me out on this thing so we're here it's an assault game on Siegfried line haven't played assaults for ages uh, get sick of the teams <laughs> they're so bad um, and he's defending and so pandemonium is it's a tier 6 game so he's top tier uh, but it's a 510 game He's come out wide to protect the flank here, uh, which is always a good thing. You can get some side shots on anything coming down the uh, G and F line. Also anything coming up where that Churchill is and the K line is also yours to take out. And OI experimentals who sit in front of you with their turrets over the top are also fair game. Nice. OI experimental does not have the armor that its higher tier versions do. And he's just being eaten here. Whoop, wasted that shot a little bit. It's not that fast moving pandemonium, you can hit him surely. Unfortunately the earlier miss means he loses out on the kill there. But he remains hidden and that's the main thing. He's got a camo net, also binos and the vehicle itself is fairly sneaky. But look at the team score, 4-0 already virtually nothing in the north on the north side everything that came south with pandemonium has died nice shot into the Cromwell B can he take he's going to be spotted any minute trying to track him a bit I think yeah there we go he's been spotted but he takes him down need to back out quick there's the uh, Churchill out there didn't even scratch him Aiming for the side and takes him down as well. Good job. Right, 3-4. Wiggle around a bit. Make sure that artillery can't focus you. There's two artillery on, the, on both teams here. So um, you don't want to be around. See, there's the lack of gun depression. Had to come right forward to try and get a chance of hitting that uh, KV-2. Not that he could. They'll just take out the OI experimental instead. Good job. Right. Can he hit that uh, KV-1? No, he can't. It's 5 all now. <coughs> There's a KV-2 again. No shells on him. Unfortunately, they're down the alleyways. Both the KVs are down the alleys. We're going to have to move around and try and cover them off. <coughs> the only problem is there is still the KV-1S somewhere. But we can't... Oh, there's a Stug. We spotted the Stug behind us. Pandemonium is focusing fire on that KV-2, but he's never going to get a shot. There's, it's too deep in the city. Too deep in the city. And there's the KV-1S. Okay. I'm not sure he noticed the Stug that popped up at, down at uh, K-6, K-7. Oh, there we go. He's got the chance of firing at that KV-1, which is nice. He's going to come back again. That's damn decent of him. What a damn good fellow he is. Spiffing, as we would say. And he's down. Right. So the Doom, to the doom to Toaster is with him. Now where did that stood go? So the pressure's taken off momentarily. Oh, there's the Stug. Hello. Oh, no, that's not Stug. That's a Panzer 3485. Panzer? T-3485. Dom, you're an idiot. So Pandemon has done nearly 2,000 damage already. <laughs> it's got two kills. I mean, it's been an ideal scenario for him. The, the enemy have not pushed him. They've not really scouted him. He wasn't spotted. And uh, apart from that, uh, um, Cromwell B early on, that's the only thing that spotted him. And he's been able to stay pretty much in the same area uh, where he was, where he started. And kind of that's 
what you want in a TD. If you can be lazy ass, not move. Ooh, look at the aim time. Braced, wasted that shot a bit. Oh, that KB, KB1 hasn't got a fire extinguisher and burns down to virtually nothing. So Pandemonium picks up a nice cheap kill. Right, eight plays, nine. Artillery strike came in there. They obviously know roughly where uh, the toaster and Pandemonium are, but can't do anything about it. Remember, there's only ten minutes on the game. Um, that's all you have as an attacker to take out the cap. or to Basically, you've got to win by capping or killing all the enemy tanks. Um, and you only have 10 minutes rather than 15. Not leading that shot enough, that's the problem. Gets him in the end though, and the Stuggers popped up as well, but not enough to get a shell. So 11 plays 10, just sticking in there. 11 11 now, good. Here comes, here comes the. Uh, Stug, oh, a toaster's gone down. Yeah, didn't penetrate his armour. Those Stugs are very, very uh, well rounded and shaped at the front. So even though they haven't got a massive amount of armour, they've got a very, very strong bounce ability, if that's a word. Here comes a Stug again. He knows he's got to push. They've only got three in three minutes, and there's only three tanks left on each side. But he's been tracked there. Oh, we missed the kill shot. Oh, how frustrating. We've got no artillery left, else the Stug probably would have been cleaned up there. But he's had enough of this game. He's got view range, unless he's got any optics or anything, uh, considerably lower than uh, than Pandemonium has here. He's obviously got uh, binos. Blind shots by the artillery getting increasingly desperate. And even more desperate, there goes the grill actually trying to get to spot something so you know he never had hope against the KV-1 there so it means Pandemonium can move forward he's had the opportunity he's done his job he's blunted the enemy attack done 2400 damage uh, got four kills so far and earned the right really to move forward now the game is, should be secure um, it's only two minutes 30 seconds left There's only two enemy tanks left, that's Stug and the artillery. Now I'm do I would do what he's doing, going after the artillery because the Stug is on very low health. There's more hit points to be had if you can find the artillery and there he is. Aim in, in, aim, aim, in. Oh, that's a shame. I couldn't get the... oh, here we go. Aim, aim, aim and takes him down. There's the Stug, can we get a top gun here? We know where he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Uh, is the KV going to get him? Can we get him? So the aim time on this gun is not terrific. There he is. There he is. Aiming in. Oh, missed. Brushed the shot. Come on. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yes. Good job. Nice top gun. Well played, Pandemonium. Really well played. Defended like a boss. So cracking game from Pandemonium, I think you'll agree. Got the Ace Tanker there, he got Fire for Effect, Bruiser, uh, High Calibre and of course Top Gun. Even got a couple of uh, Bonds out of that game. Finished up, uh, unsurprisingly, top of the team. 2,729 damage, 6 kills, 1232 base XP. Finished up um, firing 32 shots, a lot of ammo expended. 23 hits, 20 penetrations for that 2,700 damage. He took no hits himself. He was only spotted a couple of times, wasn't he? 40, nearly 46,000 credits. Didn't need any premium. He was top tier. He just used AP and uh, ended up with a lovely profit of 40,200 with a premium account. As I say, a couple of bonds for the epic medals he got. And with times two experience, he got uh, 3,696 experience for his crew so cracking little game hope you enjoyed it um i did i thought it was really well played he uh, defended m very very well out there managed to keep himself well hidden um and as i say i think he was only spotted a couple of times in that entire game and took down a lot of the enemy tanks the, 
the bulk of the enemy tanks and did a huge amount of damage for a tier 6. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, enjoy your games, have fun, try not to take it too seriously, and I'll see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, signing out.